Hey, Colin Hiles here, aka the Mindset Guy with today's training video, which is, which is video number seven in this How To Be Happy series. And in this, this video, we're gonna explore the subject of limits and beliefs and how we resist self-resistance to more of the good stuff in our life, more happiness, more joy, more pleasure, more passion, those sorts of things. And I'm gonna start by throwing a challenge out to you. So if you go up for this challenge, you will need a pen and a piece of paper. So stop the video if you're up for the challenge, get yourself a pen and a piece of paper. So what is the challenge? Well, the challenge is to join up nine dots with four straight lines. So if you've got your piece of paper, create these dots the same as this. And your challenge is to join up the nine dots with four straight lines and your pen must not leave the paper, okay? I will give you the answer at the end of the video, but if you really want to go for it, go for it now. Now what I've done on here is I've created these dot, dot, dots because typically in trying to solve this little challenge or problem, what we do is we go one, two, three, four. Oh, right, the dot's still in the middle, hang on. Um, one, two, three, four, and we get stuck in this sort of this box um, and we can't figure out how to solve this. And the thing is, you don't need any more resources to solve this. What you do need to do is think differently. And when you think about happiness, our current level of happiness is down to the way that we're thinking. In order for there to be more of it, we've got to think differently. And that's what you've got to do to solve this. You've got to think differently. Now, the reason I want to bring this in is because this represents a box. And um, we live in boxes. Now, I'm not talking about the box like this room or the house or the box of the office. I'm talking about boxes in our mind. We live our life inside a box. And the edges of the box represent old ways of thinking, represent limits, represents borders, represents fears, represents maybe comfort zone, that, that's familiar to us. Um, and some would say that this is the ego, and the ego is like, I like to think of the ego like mini-me, you know mini-me in Austin Powers. Um, it's, it, it's the sort of the mini version of ourselves. it's conditioned part of ourselves. It's not the true self, the real self. Um, it's the conditioned self. And so we get stuck in these boxes, and we start to live our life inside the boxes, and we have you know, a box for each area of our life, health, wealth, love, and lifestyle. We have a box for our life. We have boxes within health, wealth, love, and lifestyle as well. And it becomes the way that we think. Now the question is, what's outside of the box? What's this? Well, this is pure potentiality. And if I ask you how much potential do you have, how would you answer that? Now most people say unlimited, and I agree. I don't think potentially something we can measure or something we can totally use up. But, but because of the box that we create, the limit that we create, the, then we box ourselves in and we, we're not able to experience what's outside of the box. Now what's outside of the box, as I say, is pure potential. It's new stories. It's more of the good stuff. It is limitless, boundless in terms of possibility. And I once read in a book, I can't remember which book it was in, but it was the experiment that was done with fleas. And I don't know if you know, but you know, if you put a flea here, this flea can jump 100 times its height. I mean, incredible um, distance that it can jump. But what they did was they put the flea inside a jar, put a lid on, and then the flea jumps, hits its head, hits its head, hits its head, hits its head, hits its head. And what's remarkable is they're able to undo the lid drop the flea out and the flea will jump to the height of the um, jar. So depending on the height of the jar, the flea will become conditioned to jump that high. And that's like this box. This box is our past. It's everything that we have done. It's everything that we have become up until this point. But if we try and live our life looking in the past, so like trying to drive a car forward looking in the rear view mirror will crash every time because the past is the past. 
And if we live in the past, it can become a burden and we need to see it more as the school to learn from. So every time we sit in this box, we talk ourselves out of the good stuff. We create these confines, we constrict, we allow resistance, our own inner resistance to stop us moving forward and experiencing more of the good stuff. So when I say we talk ourselves out, let me give you an example of what I mean by that. So here we have desire and here we have belief. Okay? Desire is the things that we want, our goals, our aims and our ambitions. And then we have our beliefs. And beliefs are, they're like um, the thoughts that have become the truisms for us. So our beliefs we accept as the truth. Um, and the truth is that there is no box. But because of our beliefs, and if you notice the word belief, it's got the word lie written in it, we can start to accept some lies about what's possible for us. And there's a little word that we really need to pay attention to. And this little word causes this inner resistance. Now there's more than this little word. I mean, I've only got you know, time for a short video here. But the word that we need to pay attention to is but. Okay? Because the moment someone says, you know, I want X but, in comes the but belief, the big but belief. And there's the resistance. Now here's the thing. Out of these two, which one do you think wins? Exactly, the but belief. All right, so, you know, someone could say, well, I've heard this, many, in fact, it, it, it's funny of recent, I've been, I'm working with a lot of people that are looking to attract, you know, a, a, a person into their lives. And as I sit and listen to them, and I'm going to just use the example of um, a number of females that I, work, I was working with recently where we were sat around and we were talking. And I got them to write down, you know, um, I want to find love, but. And then I got them to list what comes after the but. <laughs> and some of the things were, you know, I want to find the love in my life, but I don't want to get hurt again. I want to find the love of my life, but they're already all married. I want to find the love of my life, but it's really hard to do. I want to find the love of my life, but I'm fed up with babysitting. All right, and the list went on. I mean, it was incredible. Now think about that for a second, because we are only ever meeting our beliefs. We don't really see reality. We see our perception of reality. So if somebody has a number of those but beliefs, right, and basically what they're saying is, you know, I can't have what I want. I mean, that's really what they're saying. I can't have what I want. And if they have that list, and it's quite an extensive list, I'm pretty sure you'll see that that is stronger than that, and that wins over. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If someone believes that it's hard to find a man, then they'll find evidence that supports it. If they believe that all the best men are married, then they will find evidence to, to support it. That's just the way beliefs work. And so whatever we believe becomes our reality. And this is how we box our self in. And by boxing ourself in, we literally give up on the joy, the happiness that we are seeking and searching for. Because obviously what these beliefs bring is more misery, is more of what we don't want, is more suffering often. So. So ultimately, we've got to let go of these limits. We've got to, we've got to make sure that we, we're not using these limits to stop us. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna show you basically how to do that and then that's gonna be your exercise. So the way that we do that is actually we swap the but for the and. So we have an and instead. So I want to find the love of my life and I know that he or she is out there somewhere and I'm ready now for that level of relationship and um, millions of people every day are finding their ideal person and it's easy to do when I put myself out there fully and I, mean, I could go on and on and on and on right so what you do is you're looking to come up with um, a different set of beliefs 
Now the other thing that you can do is when you come up with your but beliefs is to actually check them with some questions like, you know, is that true? Um, can I find any evidence that contradicts that? And often, more often than not, we can see that it's not true. It's the word belief has got the word lie written and it's a lie that we are living and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So, as I said, the truth is that there are no boxes. The truth is that we are boundless potential, that anything and everything is possible for us. As long as we understand that we are, you know, that we're limiting ourselves and how to stop limiting ourselves with these beliefs. And I'm just sharing one way to do that right now. So what I suggest you do is you grab yourself a piece of paper uh, and you write down something that you want. You know, I want to be happy. Okay. And then you write down, but, and then you list all of your buts and go for it. Be creative, have fun with it, right? Get them out of your head, get them down on paper, enjoy the process. But, and if you do this with somebody, what you can have is like a ping pong game. So you both say you want to be happy, but, and then you have to come up with a but, and then they have to come up with a but, and then you have to come up with a but, and then they have to come up with a but. And obviously whoever comes up with the last but has just won that match. So you can have a bit of fun with someone um, playing that, the, the but belief game. Then, once you've got those out, then maybe you can look at them and actually, you know, is that true? Is that fact? Or am I just making that up? So you can start to see which ones are just made up. They're, 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 there's no connection with the truth at all. Then what you do, um, and that in alone, awareness is curative. As you start to shake up those beliefs and shake up those perceptions, they start to crumble anyway. Then what you do is you have fun um, and you come up with your desire and. And so, you know, I, um, I desire to be happy and. And then you come up with all the reasons that support the possibility of that happening for you. And then you bust out of this box. And then you expand yourself. And then you step into your real self and your true self. And the mini me at that point can't say, you know, let's play small, let's shrink a little bit here, let's stay within this familiarity. You bust out of that and you grow. And then you'll box yourself in again and then you do the same again. You box yourself in again and that's just the process of life. That's just the way that our beliefs work. And so, once again, with the and, you can do that in with, a, with, a, with a buddy and just have a little bit of fun around that and ping pong the ands. But you're looking to build as many ands as you can. And then, of course, what you do then is you scratch out the butts. You just scratch them out. And you only talk and you only think and you only focus on the ands because those will feel, cause you to feel good. If you feel good, you're going to pull more of what you want towards you. So there we are, right, so how do you join up the nine dots with four straight lines, pen must not leave the paper? Well, it goes like this. Go across here, and then we come, I know I just left it, but um, left the paper, but you can see that you don't have to here. There we go. And you'll see that you have to go outside the box. And if you've ever heard anybody say, let's get outside the box, that's where this comes from. And in our life, we have to get outside our box because it's our box that's causing our current level of satisfaction and happiness. Getting outside the box means that we can experience more. So this is Colin Hiles. Thank you once again for listening to video number seven. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. You know, one, not very good. 10, really good. Really enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you're on my YouTube channel right now. Leave some comments as well. Um, it's great to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you on the final video in this How To Be Happy series next week. Hold on, before you go, let me just ask you a quick question. Do you feel like a Ferrari that's got its front brakes locked on and it's just spinning round and round? And maybe you're spinning and stuck in the area of health or maybe you're spinning and stuck in the area of wealth or maybe for you it's in the area of relationships or your career. Well, unfortunately, most people's minds are working against them, creating things that they don't want repeatedly. I wanna show you how to release your mental breaks immediately with four free advanced mind power training videos. The information contained in these four videos will provide little known keys to the psychology of achievement. 
As you start watching them, the advanced mind power training will transform you from the inside out. Release your mental breaks today for real results, lasting change, and a quantum leap in your performance. So visit www.advancedmindpowertraining.com or click on the link below this video to get your first free video today.